Five minutes, guys. 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 Why am I Japanese? Remember when you said, please tell me when I'm racist? Yeah. It's it's one, it's of those one of those things. Thank you. Times. Welcome the commune. Improv is an art form unto itself. The most important thing is don't think. You don't think, you don't memorize. You don't get paid. It's so true, but isn't that kind of fun, too? Are you working right now? Are you applying for anything? Uh, unemployment? Hummus and chips? Right. Hummus and chips? So hey guys, great Thank movie. Thank you. Okay, um, how much that, how do you relate to this movie personally? I related to it in that it was very similar to both my experience going to an acting college and I have now realized doing this press, kind of similar to when I was in the cast of the show called Community, which was a small group of people and we were together for six years. So I think the great thing about the movie though is even if you're not a performer, it seems to be very relatable. The themes of jealousy and struggle and failure and rooting for your friend's success but then being hurt by it seems to be a, yeah. a universal feeling. It's a, uh, yeah, I think the, the universality of it is in friendships, like co your college friends, the t moment in your life when you, you know, had a, you know, left your family to go to college, the, the you know, years where you worked on projects like community or whatever it is, um, that feeling. Yeah, it's the, the fact that you, I think anybody can relate to them when you set up a dynamic and the dynamic exists for a certain amount of time and it's working for everyone and then something cataclysmic takes place or something eventful takes place and completely changes that dynamic. Yeah. You pick one person, you say the first thing about them that comes to your mind. Connor, go. You're fat. You're dangerous. You're a little slow. Uh, this game hurts my feelings. It's the great paradox of Weekend Live is was it good ever? You should well. not have said that in your audition. I think that's why. <laughs> I called you Finn. He's bringing producers from Weekend Live. Hey, Jack, don't pull some showboat. What are you talking you about? You know you always do that. Anyone from the industry shows up, you turn into a one-man audition tape. This is a new program we're working on right now called uh, Cabs for Dads, but my, my critics like to call it Obama Cabs. OK, we will, uh, we will be there. Hey, um, we're auditioning on Thursday for Weekend Live. Congrats, man. Thanks, man. Audition for the show in 2003. I was inches. I was like inches. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I gotta focus on me. I I'm gonna get the job at Weekend Live. So, how hard is improv really for some of us who don't do improv? These guys might be able to answer it best. They learned it for the movie and are brilliant <laughs> at it now. We had workshops for two weeks prior to shooting, so that was very helpful. Um, but it's it's not, uh, it's hard. I don't know. It's, um, I think when you have a group that you, you fall into a, a, a rhythm and you know each other. Like, we really got to know each other in those two weeks. We had, like, boot camp and it was great and I feel like that was super helpful. I don't know if it would it's have worked It's using otherwise. a different part of your brain than you normally use as an actor because you have to be much more engaged and generating material. As an actor, it's like you're handed the script, you learn it, you bring thoughts and ideas to it, but with this, it's all coming from you. It really helps if you're a listener. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, that's right. That's the only reason it's hard. The only reason improvisation is hard is because people don't listen to each no. other. That's, it's, no. it's actually, the concept in and of itself is very simple. It's so simple when you, when you add the ingredients of what makes humans frail or scared or yeah. self-conscious, that's what makes it hard. Which is why they're yeah. good lessons for life yeah. too. You know, don't think and say yes, and it's all about the group, and it's all about listening more than you talk. Like those are good things to work on, period. Yeah, right? yeah true. <laughs> think about doing General Rollins as an umpire. Okay. You're out. My name is Liam Neeson. If it's money that you're looking for, I've got none. I've used all of it. The last six times my daughter was taken. I don't accept that as improv. <laughs> I like my life how it is right now. You can't do improv forever, okay? It just, it ends. Could you talk more about the pre-game pre rituals that um, some of you guys, some of you guys have, or at, as actors or improv actors before you do anything? I is got your back in the script? Yeah. It is in the script. Yeah. That's another thing yeah. that's a parallel for us because we've I got your back. Got your back. That's the one that, I, that lots of improvisers across the world do is, mm -hmm. is to make sure that you know no matter what happens out there, I'm going to do everything in my power to make you look good out there. That's what it's all about. It's all, it's all yeah. about listening to your partner and building on what they're saying instead of what your preconceived you thought don't is. You don't succeed if you get a laugh. 
You succeed if they get a laugh. Yeah, you, it's yeah. a lot of Scotty Pippins. I feel like also. Oh. <laughs> right? It's a whole I bunch like of Scotty Pippins. I yep. like that. That yeah. ritual, I feel like, also just gets you ready to go out on the stage. Yes. There's that too. There's that element of just like, okay, and here we go. You know, I yeah. I feel like that's important for so many reasons. Really. Got your back is like there's no turning back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just like to stop drinking water for maybe an hour before because oh. I usually have to pee on stage. <laughs> but don't you find I have to time that well? Then sometimes when you're on stage, anything that's bothering you or having to pee just goes away. Especially not for me. No? Not, not for Gil. <laughs> not for Gil's bladder. Gillian yeah. has one of the. <laughs> Gillian had never improvised before the movie and has some of the funniest improvised nice moments lines that's in the movie. The film. Yeah. There's this great line she improvises where she says the the last drop of a man's blood is a, is the sweetest nectar you'll ever taste and all of us like kind of looked over at her like what where did that come from and it was from? just yeah. so funny and weird and and we Fantastic. put it in the movie my mom said that to me a lot when i was a child <laughs> <laughs> what don't we know about gillian jacobs all right well anyways hey thank you very much thank, thank, you. thank you thank you so thank much you. Nice to meet okay. you okay your 20s are all about hope, and then your 30s are all about realizing how dumb it was to hope. This is my room. Where are you going? I'm like 40. I just turned 36. We all said we would wear the same outfit. Everybody agreed. Being a professor, you gotta go.